next level is Space Opera, which is based off of some sci-fi movie that I can't really remember. Like, I can't place it. What could it be? Alright, so Princess Babs just went to go get captured, and now we're, uh... Off in space with these uh, duck troopers. See, these characters are definitely based off of uh, a cartoon, one of the episodes. And uh, you'll see that they had to take some strange liberties uh, once we get to the end, because once we get there, that's the end of the game. So here we need to open this latch. find that key. I think it's up and to the left somewhere. These guys just come in and dive at you. You can barely react. And uh, I guess if you uh, try and drop kick, you can't really grab onto the, the ladder here. There we go. Ah. Oh well, I got the key at least. Hopefully I'm not going to die. All right, as long as we can get in, we're safe. So we're just going to keep moving to the right, and there's going to be a really cool effect. It's another keyhole that you can barely see. And it uh, looks like I missed some extra health. I don't know how this is working, but let's just roll with it. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're just immediately thrown into the scene and dead. Don't worry, my 19 lives will carry us through the end. It's probably... that's the second time I've died so far. But anyway, we need to hide behind these pillars and just these pillars only. Otherwise we take damage. This level will definitely frustrate me as a kid, because, like, I would hide behind these pipes, and those do absolutely nothing. You're supposed to hide behind these objects specifically. Ah, see, I got hit, because I didn't get behind something fast enough. So let's see if I can do it real quick. Okay. Oh, that's dash meter. So, it wants us to go up here. The dash meter, the the dash trophy came back, but it doesn't matter. Oh, we need to go up. Oh, got the health at least. Just get in there. <laughs> right, so there's nothing really here. Hope we get this uh, sweet anti gravity section, but. All you're doing is just pitching this ball up and down. Alright, it breaks this area, but there's nothing really here except for these stars, which we don't really need, so we'll just, uh, hop back out. And I can't move until the ball's out of the way. And we get to this weird section, where if something hits that, uh, bumper, well, if that thing hits the bumper, all these stars pop out. But he hurts you, too. We would have gotten more stars if we had let him survive. And then here comes another dash climbing section, but... Just for the, uh... Just go... Go nuts here. I'm gonna die again. Let's see if he dies the way that... Yeah. If he dies when there's enough screen height, he j gets tossed into this dumpster. And I don't know what, why that happens. Anyway, we need to hit the go-go dodo buttons to get more dash meter. If you hit the out, that uh, causes you to get a barrel dropped on you. 
and only in the hard zone do you get those stars, which gives you, like, ten stars or whatever. So, hey, that's not bad. I think we can make it here. Good. Yeah, see? These guys are supposed to be good guys, but for some reason, they hurt you here. Oh well. I mean, that's just what happens when you're only given so much and so little at the same time. Because, you know, back then, we just... There wasn't really enough to, uh... give you, like, a full-fledged story, which is probably why a lot of companies didn't really take this stuff as seriously as they they do now for their licensed products, because they know that it can easily damage their, their image. But then you got happy accidents, like games like this, which... They're good games, it's just not quite the best way to use the license, but you get some good stuff come out of it. Oh boy. So here's a weird section. I think we can hit that. The ball will hurt you no matter what, but they're not hurting these guys unless we turn it blue. Now it damages them. go. Such craft. There we go. And that's it. We're already at the end of the game. Cool effect. Yeah, this guy, he's also a character in the show. jokes about the force, but we need to knock this gun out of him, and then shoot him with his own gun before he reattaches himself, and he's already snapped out of it. You can drop kick to get through the gun like that without taking any damage. As you can see, it gets really weird. I missed. I gotta hit him, right. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's the kind of combo I want. He's already low at health, so he doesn't want to keep getting hit, so... Oh, God. And keep in mind, I'm not really trying to, like, speedrun this or anything like that. It's just... That's just how I play the game these days. For both these games that I've played so far. The other Tiny Toons game? What's the the normal Tiny Toons game, Saturn Memories? There we go, that's two for two, that's... Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse and Tiny Toon Adventures Buster Bust Loose. Also, I like how... Like, just how they're congratulating you. At least they're kind of sarcastic about this, but that's kind of a... Uh, spoiler, maybe? Also, check this out. For some reason in the game, Darth Duck or whatever is plucky, even though uh, in the show, like, you'll see the, uh, they're sort of Star Wars parody, and, uh, that's not supposed to be Plucky Duck, but I guess they just, uh, had to do something just to get some, uh, just to get the game out the door. It's like, yeah, we just got this artwork. It looks kind of like this character. We'll just, uh, throw him in like that. Also, one thing I feel bad about, if you play it on hard, you get some extra scenes in the end. But I wanted to make sure I could actually get through the... get through the game, so I didn't decide not to take that risk. I don't think this one has any cool, stupid nicknames for these, uh, developers. So it's not gonna be as cool as Magical Quest. 
No more Yuki Chan's Papa or anything like that. But uh, there's probably some names that people could probably recognize. I don't really f follow uh, Japanese game development that much. So if there's like any notable people who uh, worked on this game, I couldn't really tell you. Uh, whoever worked on like some of the later Konami stuff. Produced by Team The Okutani Project. That, that's alright. That's weird enough, I guess. Oh, I think they're talking about you. You who's watching this right now. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I guess that's going to be the end of the stream. I just wanted to play these uh, platformers I've uh, played when I was a kid because uh, they stuck with me when I was when I was young. I had a lot of fun with them. And I think the game soft locks, and then you can't really do anything. But yeah, the other. Um, the other Super Nintendo Tiny Toons game is the four-player party game. Like, uh... In terms of, like, the... console differences, uh... console differences, there's the... sports games that were on Super Nintendo and the Genesis, and I kind of feel like the Genesis one got the... got the better hand, because they were... like, they're not just, like, little throwaway mini-games, there's a little depth into the, uh... Acme All Stars, which is uh, gives you the basketball and soccer game. Yeah, that's I I have that one. I that was a game that I played on Sega Channel back in the day, and now as an adult, I had disposable income and can find could finally get the game. And I do have a multi the team player adapter and four controllers, and had a lot of fun playing it with friends. But I do want to try and see if I could cover those games on the multiplayer show, but that's going to be for another time until I can uh, get some plans ironed out for uh, some upcoming episodes. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it because it is one in the morning right now, and uh, kind of need to get to work on stuff. So thank you guys for watching. This is Bartman3010, and thank you for watching uh, Magical Quest and. Tiny Tunes Bust Bust Loose, and uh, see you guys next time.